Okay, heat pump defrost. Uh, been going to get around to talking about this for quite a while. Uh, just a skosh of theory about these things first. You're looking at a defrost uh, uh, system right now. Uh, if the heat pump coil, the outdoor coil, runs below 32 degrees, any moisture that's condensed on the coil will condense as ice. Now, especially in high humid areas, the ice will get uh, pretty thick on the coil and it will hamper the movement of air, of air through the coils and of course the refrigerant. And eventually it turned into a block of ice. So we come up with this doohickey. Now this thing is a real antique. This thing was about, oh, it, was, it was there when I got into business in 1978. So, uh, not used anymore. When we decide we need to defrost these things, we have to have some method of defrosting. Something that senses when there's ice on the coil. Well, the first thing we come up with was this doohickey here. Now, it's a time temperature defrost. Now, this thing's been around forever. I dug that one out of the back 40 and it's been sitting outside for the last 25 years. Uh, these used a little clock motor, like it's right there, and you can actually see the rotation of the clock motor. You can see the little wheel will move when it's energized. Uh, and what it does is has a temperature probe here. This temperature probe is mounted to the outdoor liquid line to sense the temperature of the line. Generally, if they're below 32, some of them were 28. If the temperature was lower than that, then it would open the circuit for defrost. It would not go into defrost because it's called time temperature. Temperature satisfied with the uh, sensor, then time has to be satisfied. These are oftentimes set right here. You've got a setting for it where you can adjust this 30, 60, or 90 minutes. So what it's going to do every 30, 60, or 90 minutes, it's going to close a switch that is in series with the switch connected to this bulb, the sensing bulb, and if the sensing bulb switch is closed, then the timer switch closes, it goes into defrost. So what's going to happen when it goes into defrost? Number one, it's going to reverse the refrigerant flow. That means the reversing valve is going to go from heat to cool. It may energize, may de-energize, depends on the, on the brand. The outdoor fan is also in the circuit and it's going to shut off the outdoor fan. The reason you shut off the outdoor fan is so that you concentrate the heat we're putting in there. So remember we're making this into an air conditioner so there's going to be heat going out into the condenser outside to melt the ice and we want to concentrate the heat in the outdoor coil so we can get the ice melted off as quickly as possible. So, reversing valve changes position, outdoor fan shuts off, goes into defrost, this thing has a timer in it uh, that it's a, the initiation is time and temperature, uh, pulling it out of defrost requires time or temperature. So, let's say we're running away in defrost and the ice is coming off and the bulb is warming up. Okay, this switch is going to make, is going to switch positions at some point when it gets warm enough. And that's usually about 60 degrees, something like that. Okay, if that switch 
switches, then it goes back into heat. If for some reason this switch did not switch back to the heat mode, the timer will run for anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes uh, and then go out of defrost. So it's kind of a safety device that if this doesn't shut it off, this will. And then it can't go into defrost again until they either that 60 or that 30, 60 or 90 minutes has passed. So that is the basis of all defrost. This old time temperature thing was common for a long time. It's not a very good defrost because it tends to uh, put the unit into defrost when there's no ice on it. Because it doesn't really sense whether there's ice on the coil or not. It just simply senses the temperature. But anyway, that's the old boy. Next thing we're going to go into is some of the newer defrost systems, uh, the demand defrost, and we'll see how they work.